my air needs washing. Now, good afternoon. I hope you are well. Uh, we are in for a treat. I remember when they launched here in the wonderful world of Hachanda, and by Jove, have they gone from strength to strength. We are talking Wonder Weaver. It, literally, you have to sing it. You can't do it, you can't do it any other way. Uh, Judith, here, how are you, my love? Thank you, I'm fine. I've not seen you in ages. Yes. It seems it has been a very long time uh, since we last worked together. And everyone who does this show, presenter-wise, now we're all in a little WhatsApp group. You go, oh my word, I'm I'm now hooked. The whole of the crew <laughs> are hooked onto weaving because it is one of those things that once you start. It, you just can't put it down. You just keep going and going and going and going. Let's go right the way back from your background. How did you get into weaving? Same way. <laughs> <laughs> you just couldn't put I it just down. started and I got hooks. And ever since I, I weave all sorts of things. And I, yeah, and all sorts of materials as well. So <laughs> Let's get rid of the skepticism. Uh, I can't even say the word. Let's skepticism with this as well. Um, it comes in different stages. You know? We've got beginners, intermediate and advanced uh, yeah. with this. But in theory, anyone can do this, can't they? That's absolutely right. Anybody, I mean, there are um, beginner techniques and uh, also in these products, I try to mix them. So um, it's, um, it's, it's fun for beginners and intermediates as well. Um, yeah. <laughs> it is really. And everything comes in the kits. And if my memory serves me correctly, the only thing you need is water and a pair of nail scissors. Exactly. Yes, I was right. <laughs> uh, it's, and nail scissors, because they're sharp and they've got that little point on so you can get in there. Uh, it has to be nail scissors. We are already busy and I can see why. Right, and let's kick straight off. Brand new today. This is the Wonder Weaver uh, design. <laughs> you can use that on Facebook or wherever you want. Just take that little clip. Um, just record that. Uh, this is the Wonder Weaver design medium round basket uh, that we've got here. Uh, this is the basket that you will be creating. A beautiful basket at that. A uh, good sturdy basket as well. Because when you think weaving, you think, oh, it's going to be flimsy. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be limp. It's not. It's absolutely beautiful. This is going to be one that you can put next to the keys to throw your keys in, uh, next to the door to throw your keys in. Uh, you can use it for at the centre of the table for like pot puree and things like that, and a fruit bowl if you wanted to. Um, is it easy to make though? It is pretty easy to make. There is uh, at least two techniques which is new in this kit, so um, it's also suitable for intermediates. But the the, um, the instructions are quite clear, I think. I really hope. Um, so it's it's also suitable for beginners as well. It's um, it's got a different type of cane. Yeah, oh, that's we've got the different one. canes in this here now. This is a tiny bit different. It has a deep profile. It's pretty flat. <gasps> oh, and this, this is what makes the middle part of it. Oh, I like this cane. Yeah. This is the cane where you sit on your nan's sofa outside in the garden. This is the one you pick at. Uh, well, I do anyway. You know the one it's all woven through, and you end up picking one. It all spirals out. And you have to quickly put it back in, uh, or bend it till you break it off. Uh, this is the sort of stuff you use. But it, at the moment, it looks and it is. It's quite brittle, isn't it? So, because uh, obviously you need to water it down, and you need to give it that conditioning uh, that you get in there, so it's malleable to work with. You get everything in the kit as well, so you also get. Uh, your, your, the round bit, as it were, uh, that creates the bottom uh, mm -hmm. you've got there. Then you've got your weaves in the top. And it also comes beautifully presented in these beautiful drawstring bags. They are absolutely stunning. They really are. It's a nice little giftable as well, I feel. Uh, £29.99, pence, but... Hold your horses, hold your horses. Uh, remember, we've got Flextravaganza. I know, Brenda. Flextravaganza, which now means you can split the cost into these onto two interest-free flexible payments is what you are looking at for this as well. So, $29.99 will now go down to two flexible payments of just under £15. Just under £15 today, and you are going to get the beautiful basket set and obviously this is what you are going to be creating when you get it home. Brand new today, beautiful weaving basket, 171063 is your item number. Something else that's new today and also a beginner kit are our two coasters. These are 
beautiful. They really are. You get enough in the kit to create two of the coasters, and this is beginner friendly. Yes, this is actually, I, I created this kit to introduce people how to make a basket bottom. So it's not, not only useful as a coaster, but uh, later on you will know how to create the bottom of the basket. So it's not a wooden blank at the bottom, but it's also woven. It needs a bit of practice. So obviously that's why I started with a, with a lower gradient. Um, but I think, yeah. It's, it's very beautiful though, it well. really is stunning what you've bought us. You get full instructions uh, included as well that's already in there. Uh, you get all the enough kit, as I said, uh, to make the two that you have here. But how beautiful are these? How beautiful to make two wicker coasters and then maybe you add a splash of colour to them if you wanted to as well because obviously it comes uh, to the natural colour you can use once again if my memory serves me correctly tea and coffee yes. you can st oh see I'm good at this <laughs> uh, you can colour them in as well with all your paints that you've got on there remember if you're going to put things on them they're going to get scratched so you might want to give them a coating uh, of something that high gloss paints that we had in that um, seven day saver show yesterday uh, would work lovely uh, for this is what it would look at as well well worth having a little look at this 14 pounds and 95 pence remember split the cost into two interest-free flexible payments on this one uh, and that would bring it just shy at seven pound fifty seven pound fifty today so you can have a go at wonder weaving uh, yourself in your own home i know it's worth it it really really is i've got more on the show i've got bins i've got trays i've got pen holders galore but let's see how easy it is to do a tad of weaving. Right, and Judith, I'm coming to you. What do I need to do first? Um, I will show you how to make the coaster. Okay. So I, I'm not going to make two, but one. <laughs> so what we have here is um, shorter pieces of cane. These are um, 40 centimeters long, and I've got nine um, pieces. So I will divide these into twos, um, one set of fours and one set of fives. And um, I'm going to try to find the middle of these. How so, long do we have to soak them for you? Um, it depends on the size of the cane. This is two millimeter wide. And uh, I normally put it um, into water for like 15 minutes. Okay. If it's um, thicker, then you need a bit more time to, to soak it um, for like 2.5 millimeters you would need like 20 minutes if it's like three millimeter you would you would go for 25 minutes about okay. it depends on the warm of the water as well so now I just make a cross with the with the strands and I'll take one long weaver this is pretty long I think at least uh, three meters and I will just um, fold it in half and I make like a loop at the oh, end. Because it's wet though, it doesn't break. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's, it's wet, otherwise it would possibly break. But this way that it's wet, it's, it's quite flexible. So I'm going to take one set of the spokes and I will put the loop onto it and pull it to the middle. So I've got now two strands coming out here and I will take the left hand side weaver and actually we know this weaving already from dif different projects um, if you followed me this is pairing so we, we will take the left hand side weaver and bring behind the next sets of spokes like this so now we created like a loop here and again take the left hand side and bring behind the next sets of Look weavers this. this is actually the most difficult part of all of it because it's not fixed completely yet but it will be shortly so again we take the left hand side weaver bring behind and now we finish the first row as you can see shortly just a sec so like this Here it's we a are. bit like when you do plaits in a hair 
Yes. Just with two. Just with two, though, <laughs> rather than three. So it's nothing like yeah. it at all, Adam, to be honest. It's nothing like You can tell me I don't mind. <laughs> I don't stand on guard. <laughs> So we are con we, we just continue with the second row the same way as we did with the first one. So this goes behind and pull. Oh, so you go one behind, one in front, and then you swap yes. them over. Yes. Oh, so I actually, we, we make a now. twist in between the spokes. So here, make a twist like this. And now we got to that. So we've got two rows. As you can see, there's two weavers next to each other on each side. So now we will split the spokes into twos. Oh. We continue the same way. I mean, the weaving is the same. Just behind two spokes at the moment. And then to the front. So again, behind two, back to the front. And it's going to be a bit tricky here because we've got five spokes, which is obviously not dividable by two, but I will show you the trick. So again, two, and this one will stand alone now. Oh, and this one gives you the swirl effect in mm -hmm. the coaster itself. I've just worked out where yes. it is. Uh, so you, the small square that you've got in the middle is the bit that we just said. So it's, it's technically the small square in the middle, like your locking system. That locks yes. everything in place. And then now, Judith is doing this bit all the way around. I don't know which way is easier to see. As you see these spokes that go all the way up and around, that's what we're currently weaving around at the moment. Uh, so you get that in and out, sort of that in and out, in and out, in and out. Yes. I like so it. So it's like a swirl. It's a um, spiral way to, to weave. So, we nearly finished with the third row. I just put this too tight. So, yeah. how long would a project like this take? Um, I would say like 20 minutes. It depends on how quick you are. But I think you can make two coasters in, in, even in half an hour if you are hours. quick enough. Once you've got, I suppose, once you've got the technique. Yes. Do you need to keep wetting the weave? Yes, it's, um, I always have... Spray bottle. In hand. <laughs> on hand and uh, whenever I feel it gets dry I just spray it a bit or you can also dip into the water you it's nice to have a bowl of water on hand and you can just dip the whole weaving into it and that makes the, the trick look at this coming together now you can really see and they, it, they do come together quick they are a beautiful design remember uh, you're getting, you can either go for the basket, we've got coasters on the shelf, so we've, we've even got the bins, the larger products as well. Uh, but if you're just starting out in the Wonder Weaving world, uh, this is the perfect way uh, to start off, just to dip your toe in the water. Um, and it's quite something that's quite, quite satisfying about it because you get a finished product. It's something you can genuinely use. Yes. It's nice to have something that is beautiful and useful in the same time. I it is. I'm quite practical. <laughs> we're, we're talking 750 today, 750 across flexible payments. In, and if you break that down again, you're talking 1495 on your first flexible payments, and that will get you four coasters. Four coasters for 14. Well, yeah, because if you put it in your basket twice and then split the cost again, it's be 1495. My producer got was got very confused. Uh, 1495 in your first flexible payments. If you put two of these in, then you can make four of the coasters. Uh, for a little diet, for a little table, maybe it's going to be a lounge, and you got you want a set of coasters that you've got there. Remember, you get two in a set, so you're going to have to put two in. Uh, one four two zero three six is your item number. If you've done any of the weaving before as well, send in your pictures. Uh, we'd like to have a little look at your weaving, at your wickerware. Show me your wickerware. That's that's. That's a new Saturday night game show waiting to happen. Uh, show me your wickware. Send him email in studio at hachanda.com is what we're looking as well. Uh, remember with the coasters, what you're getting is you're getting all of the materials uh, that you would need as well. You get all of the wicker in there. Remember, you just need to water it down. 
So leave it in a big bowl of water for about 15 minutes uh, is what we're looking at as well. So it's well worth having a little look for the two coasters. 14 pounds and 95 pence. Zero, uh, 142036 is your item number for your coasters today. Something else that we've got is an intermediate project that we've got now. Uh, this is your waste paper basket that you've got here. Doesn't have to be a waste paper basket if you don't want it to be. It could be for your yarns of wool to pop your wool in there. Uh, that you wanted to put in there. Uh, maybe it's going to sit next to your desk. Maybe it's going to catch those little bits of scrap paper uh, that you're going to have by your desk. It's going to be one of those sorts of bins. Once again, this time though, you get the base thrown in. Uh, so you're getting the base already in then obviously you weave through the base to get the upward spokes and that's what you weave around themselves. Uh, you get everything that you need in there. Uh, with the basket, Judith, is it, uh, with the waste paper bin, sorry, is it the same techniques as sort of the smaller basket that we've got in there or is it different techniques we use for this? There are similarities and differences. So the bottom, uh, we normally start with veiling. That's a triple weave, so it, you, you weave the bottom part, just like, yeah, that short piece, like three, three, three centimeters um, high. Um, that's called veiling, and this is a triple weave. It's, ve um, it's very strong, it makes it very sturdy. So that actually gives the strong base of the basket. So that's actually what I use for the, for the medium round basket as well. So it's the same technique, so if you're going for this one, as well as this one, it's the same technique along the bottom, and it gives you that rigidity uh, that you've got in there. Obviously, this one's got a different wood in it to when we get to the top, but you've got the same technique of weaving through, uh, because it's the upward spikes that you get from the weave itself. So you have all, everything can skein up, and that's how you build your basket, by going round and round and round and round and round. I think they're absolutely beautiful. They are so tactile and lovely. It's a big old project as well. This is already on flexible payments for you, of 22 pounds and 48 pence. Um, and you've got, a lovely project and you get full instructions as well that tells you how to weave it breaks everything down and tells you what to do how long to leave it in the water for uh, where to go next which bits to cut remember all you need for this collection is water out of the tap and a pair of nail scissors that is all of you need and everything else is provided in these beautiful hessian bags. It comes beautifully presented to you as well. It's a perfect giftable. 728947 is your item number uh, for this one. £22.48 is what you are looking at for this. Well worth having a little look. Uh, from there, another new today that we've got. This is intermediate once again. I'm loving this one. This is absolutely stunning. It really, really is. You imagine that with a couple of cinnamon swirls, a Belgian bun, and maybe an iced finger. Oh, little croissant. Little croissant sitting there with a little bit of warm butter that you've got there. How beautiful is that in a tray? Uh, you also get the beads included as well. So you're getting the beads included. Uh, so you can do this beautiful beading down the side. A nice tray. It would also be a nice letter rack. Pop it, keep your post in there. When you, you know when you've got them bills you've got to go through? It's that sort of depth that when it gets to the top, you think, well, I really need to go through that. Uh, it's a beautiful depth. Once again, it's a good size as well. You can see the size that you're getting on there, and you can see the thickness of the base that you're getting. Uh, all good plies, all good materials that you're using. You get the beads, you get full instructions. Brand new today, £32.95. 989527 is your item number. Let's see how our coaster is getting on in Weaving Corner. It, I, I just started the, the side, I mean the, the border. Oh. This is a special one. It's actually going um, in a spiral way again. So I started here and I left um, about two, two and a half centimeters here. So the next, weave, next uh, pieces will go in here. So what I'm doing, I'm just trying to keep this here. I take this um, pair of spokes and I bend them behind the next one and in front of the next and then again behind, front and it ends behind so the end will not, see, not be seen and that's what I repeat so take this one, bend over behind, front behind 
front and Look behind. So again, we've got four more left. Bending over, behind, in front, behind. Do you need to pull it quite tight, Judith? You, need um, to give it you a little can adjust push. it at the end, and actually that's what I'm going to do because it's really hard to um, to to know how much space you will need yeah. here is just so-so but at the end you will um, adjust it and here I will need to tuck so this released here so again behind in front this goes here behind and comes up here look at that. and then goes to the back down here. I will do it one by one. What sort of age would you say this would be for? Um, eight plus or? Definitely eight plus. I would even say it's rather 10 plus. But um, yeah, but but definitely suitable for children. I, I would say it's for bigger ones. It is one of those things that it, it would keep the children, um, it will keep them busy for a while doing things like this. And it sort of goes back to that. It's like those building blocks that you can get when you get one of those sets. It's something you're doing, some, you, can see a, you can see the end in sight, as it were. You can see what you want to do. It's quite mindful as well, because it is like, it's like doing a jigsaw. It keeps your, your mind and your fingers going. You have to be quite subtle and yeah. think about it and how you bend it. And if, it is, if it's not bending the right way, give it a little spray so it does bend. You exactly. sort of have to work, you're basically working with nature. Exactly. I love natural materials and it's just, you know, not plastic. And you can feel that it is not plastic. No, it's not. it feels absolutely beautiful. It really does when you actually start feeling uh, the wood itself. Yeah. It's a beautiful texture. And you're feeling wood. So, so I am at the very last, <gasps> last bit, bit. Here we go. Which will go inside here. And then this one goes inside now this may be a silly question but i'm going to ask it because that's yeah. what unfortunately that's why i get paid for um your <laughs> yours looks slightly darker that's because it's wet yes am i correct yes it will once it's uh, dry it will have this color oh so just just so you can see the color difference obviously it will go back to that sort of pure natural color it's only because it's wet uh, it goes this color or does that mean that because it's a coaster if it does get wet say i spill my drink on it <laughs> Is um, it going to start unweaving itself? No. No, that's good. <laughs> no. Good it gets a bit... Um, mm, how to say that? Okay. So it expands, it, it, it expands a oh, bit. Oh, it will expand? Yes, that's when, it's, when it's wet. But you will not see it. It's so, mi so minor. Oh, okay. You would just not, not even notice it. You would see it um, on, a, on a cane chair. You would see it that is like a bit lumpy if it gets wet, but you would, you would not see it on a coaster. It's, um, it's clever to have some sort of oil do you have on to it. Do you have to maintain them, give it love and affection and a bit of polish every now and then, or do you just leave them natural? It's better if, if, you, if you leave it to air. Okay. Because it's, it, because it's natural, it likes um, to get air. But otherwise, but you can you can also varnish it if you want to make it really um, um, water resistant. Yeah. Then you can varnish it, um, or you can oil it. Oh, that's good. And that's it. I'm just adjusting the last bits. So what I'm doing is I'm taking these ends and I pull them tight, so that these bits are nice Look and flat. That. Like this. You can see why they call you the Wonder Weaver. <laughs> oh, Wonder Weaver! <laughs> so here we are. It's actually finished. The only thing we need now is the scissors. I love it. Here we go with the now scissors. Yeah. So on the on the back, I would ju I will just um, cut off all the excess cane behind the spokes. So so you need to leave some space for it so it doesn't get unwind but just a tiny bit so 
So I'm cutting off all the excess like this. Look at that. Here you are. So it's finished now. Here. Absolutely beautiful. And you remember in the kit that you are getting, you get enough to make two of that. Two of them is what you can create. And we've watched that from beginning to end. The we went over in about 20 minutes, we'd taken it out of the water, and in 20 minutes we have created an entire coaster that will last, if you look after them, for generations. They really will last the test of time. And as we said before, 14 pounds and 95 pence is gonna get you two, but because of Flex Travaganza, 14.95, if you put two into your baskets, that'll be your first flexible payment. And then you can get four. You can get four of your coasters. Um, you get everything in that beautiful drawstring bag as well, uh, is what you're looking at. You get enough to make two of the coasters that are already in there. These are beautiful. We are talking the Wonder Weaver Designs coaster set makes two for 14 pounds and 95 pence. Perfect for beginners. Uh, this one was a perfect for beginners. Now, something else, a returning favorite on the show. I absolutely adore uh, all of this. Oh, I've just heard you're loving the brand new medium round basket as well. Uh, we wanted to show you the details for this. £29.99, £99, two flexible payments of just shy of £15 uh, is what you're looking at for this one now. 171063 is your item number uh, for your medium bag. Uh, if you like your medium, uh, there is something else that we've got on the show. It is a returning favourite. You've already found it on the website. Uh, so we thought we'd show you uh, sort of live, as it were, in the studio. Oh, yeah, with us. Uh, we are talking your little basket that we have here. This is your round basket kit that you're getting. Uh, once again, you get everything you need in the kit. But this time you're doing this beautiful decorative detail uh, along the top. I can imagine this with a potted planting. Sort of a potted plant. Obviously, you'd have to be careful. I'd put sort of like a little bin bag in the bottom to catch the water, to catch the moisture. Uh, but I can imagine that with a little potted plant in would be absolutely beautiful. And it would also go in any home. Uh, little perfumes in there, little money jar if you wanted it to. Leave it by the phone and the keys to throw your keys in and that spare change when you come out of work. Uh, pop your mask in. Leave it, it can be a little mask holder if you wanted it to be. It's entirely up to you what you want it to be when you get it home because it's got a purpose. It's built with a purpose. It's also built to last as well. They are beautifully built. And are we talking beginner or intermediate? Absolutely beginner. Beginner. <laughs> Begin. Beginner. I ask you, really. Beginner. How beautiful is that? You could be doing these in the next few days as well. £19.99, pence. put that onto two flexible payments. You're just talking shy of £9.99 is what we're looking at roughly. Uh, 998279 is your item number for that returning favourite. You are absolutely adoving it. Another returning favourite is the... Ooh, oh, I nearly went there. Uh, it's the pencil holder. So my whole life flashed before me. Uh, it's the pencil holder. This is what you're actually going to be creating. Once again... Create me if I'm wrong, it's done in the same way as sort of the baskets are done as well, just on a slightly smaller scale. Yes. Yes, it is, you see. I do my research, mate. Do me research. <laughs> uh, it is absolutely beautiful. You get full instructions included, and you also get your Wonder Weave uh, that's also in there. Remember, you need to put it, pop it in water. It would be good for makeup brushes. It would also be good uh, for things like paint brushes or um, your glue sticks that you want to pop in there. Uh, you might want to, uh, oh, for your basket, you might want to put your little flowers into your basket that I've just found. Uh, it'd also be good for your, um, your little Dreamies inks. Could fit in there if you wanted to. I'm just robbing whatever our Carol's got on a station, to be honest. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. I wonder if you could pop these in. It might be too heavy. Oh, it's too heavy. Uh, it's well worth having a little look, though. And it'd be nice on your desk. You imagine two or three of these on your desk, £19.99. I know what you're thinking, two or three, Adam, £19.99, split the cost. We're in Flex Travaganza. Use it while it's there, because it won't be around forever. The 15th of January is when they, all this finishes, this Flex Travaganza, we just go back to normally. So normally we would stand here on the 16th of January if we're back going £19.99. That's it. No, today you can get it for just shy of £9.99. $9.99 today across two flexible payments is going to get you the beautiful pen holder. 140240 is your item number. Right then, what are we wonder weaving now? 
I just started the uh, round basket. Actually, um, I'm not gonna do the whole project because that uh, would um, last a bit too long now. No, that's fine. But um, I started to add the the spokes, which is very easy with these um, wooden um, bases. You just actually make a loop and pull it through to the end. So there's a loop at the bottom and you've got two spokes in each holes, which makes the basket really strong and sturdy. So this is just the last bit that I finish. And I just started this so I can show you the weaving on top. So this is, this is it. Now we have um, one pair of spokes in each holes and um, I'm gonna show you the veiling, so the bottom part of the okay. basket, which is gonna be nice and strong. So we use three um, pieces of um, cane. Again, this is a triple weave. And have these all been soaked again? Yes. It's quite a tall waste basket as well, and it's quite a, it's quite a, a nice size. It's a, it's a usable size. Yes. Is what we're saying. It's absolutely it's beautiful. So now here we have the three weavers, and we choose randomly three consecutive pairs of spokes, and put each weaver behind one. So again, next to them, next to each other, and then we will take the left hand side weaver, bring in front of two pairs of weavers, and then behind one. That's all what we do all around the frame. So again, taking the left hand side weaver, bringing in front of two, this is one, two, and this is the third, and then behind. So again, left hand side weaver, I made a mistake here, so <laughs> I, I miscounted it. So this is one, two, and behind the third one. So again, this, this is next one two and behind the third one so this is what we are going to do all around the basket oh. and i will show you how to step up to the next row so it looks like it's um so, so it looks like you can't even say where i started from from the from the outside of the basket oh, and that's can't. actually quite new because i, I didn't teach this before but uh, I really love that it's continuous on the side and you can't, it's not the spiral way weaving. At least it doesn't look like it, but you obviously do it spiral ways. Uh, th this technique as well also lends itself with the little first basket we saw and also the, the bead tray. Uh, yeah. it's, the same, it's the same style, isn't it, how we start yes. off? So now we are back at the beginning. So this was the first spokes, first oh, yeah. two spokes. And now we are in front of it with the right hand side weaver. So now we, we will um, swap the direction. So we don't start with the left hand side one, but with the right hand side one. Oh, yeah. And that's actually the trick. It's very easy. So you just take the right hand side weaver and do the same. So in front of two and behind one. And then you go for the middle one, again, in front of two and behind mm -hmm. one. And with the left hand side one in front of two and behind one, and that completes the row. So you will see on the side, how do I show you? So you will see this on the side that it's continuously the same oh, yeah. pattern all around the basket. And you are already ready for the next row. So you can see here as well, it's not like a spiral. It's complete. So like this. from here. And this just makes the basket stronger, doesn't it? This is what we're doing strong. now. We're yes. just making it sturdy. Yes, this is, exactly. Obviously it's decorative as well, but this is making it sturdier than it normally would be. Yes, this weaving is uh, very suitable to, to have the spokes in the right place. So you can adjust the spokes at this level and it will keep it there. I absolutely love it. What's, out of curiosity, what's the biggest thing that you ever weaven or woven? I normally don't really weave big things, but for, for this um, um, Halloween, I made like a huge 
pumpkin. <gasps> it was like this big. It was a lantern. It and it had an orange dyed cane. Nice. It was actually the largest <laughs> piece, and it had a lid, and. Um, so it, you could you could take off the lid and um, hide fairy lights inside and put back the lid on. And very, <laughs> it's, very it's, it talented. Beautiful. <laughs> very clever. It was very popular this year. Yeah, I bet. Pumpkin lanterns. So the second row is actually the same. Um, it's just the step up when you when you um, use a different sequence for the weavers. So, and it goes the same way each row. So we are close to the beginning. We've again. had a question. We've had a question. Yeah, please. Uh, our Paula, thank you, Paula, my one and only viewer. Thank you for watching on a Sunday at half past one. You must have. You, I, I bet you've cleaned up from your Sunday dinner now, haven't you? I bet it's all in the dishwasher, ready to go. Still got the meat tray to do, leaving it to soak. Good girl. Uh, she's asked that. Uh, are the basket bases uncoated? So if we wanted a stamp onto them and decorate them and paint them ourselves, could we go straight on with our stamps? Yes, you can. <gasps> so now, so imagine using some of the dreamy stuff uh, that you've got on there as well. So some of the other things, we've got clarity uh, coming up later as well. You can make them as your own. The basket itself, if we were gonna stain the basket, do we build it first, then stain it, or do we stain the wood as we go? It depends what, what effect you want to achieve. You can make even an ombre effect if you want it okay. to. Um, so that I, I would do, for example, with the waste basket, I would turn it upside down and put it into um, a bowl of um, dye, possibly. Yep. And then it would, it would stain the bottom more than it, it, it will go up. I oh, mean, so the dye will go up a tiny bit. But I suppose with the capillary reaction, because it is genuinely wood as well, yes. uh, the veins that it's got in there, so the capillaries really in there, it will seep itself up so it yes. gives its own ombre look. Oh my word, that's amazing. Uh, so you can stain it whenever you want. So you can stain it before, you can stain it after. We said before, you can use tea, you can use coffee. Uh, you can use the stains that you want. Uh, but it is really, really sturdy. It really is, and it's absolutely beautiful. And the more I look at it, the more I think... A tall potted plant wouldn't go amiss out of this as well if you wanted to. If you didn't want to use it as waste paper bin. Um, you know those tall potted plants you can get and you normally get them and they're normally not got very nice pots on. You could plant that in there, not plant it in there, just rest it in there. So you've got that beautiful look. It's absolutely stunning. It would look beautiful. Uh, most of them would. For decoration purposes around the home, you can really theme them to your home. You can, you, they come, they come at plain, but I think they come absolutely beautiful. I think they would fit in anyone's home as well. Uh, they're really, really soon because they're so neutral. Uh, let's see where we're up to uh, with the wonder weaving. I actually just wanted to show you again the step up. Um, I think it's, it's nice to, nice to see it again. So um, we are back to the initial spokes. This is the left hand side one, and we take the right hand side weaver in front of two and behind one, and then the middle one, again, in front of two spokes, behind the third one, and then the, the, the left-hand side one again, in front of two, and behind one, and that will complete the whole row. So at this point, I would just cut this off so I can show you something else. So what I do is just simply cut it off in an angle, um, behind the pair pair of spokes, and then as you can see from from the side, you would not you would not say where I started, would you? It looks it does look beautiful. Um, I do have a question as well. Yeah. It, how about if we get a little bit snip happy? So if we take the scissors and we cut it a little bit too short, can we still hide it? Is it, do you want? I, I don't know if my question makes let, sense. Let you, me make a mistake here. Yeah, here we go. So, for example, here, it, it, not, it, it can also it's... happen that the, that the strand is not enough strong. So what you do is um, cut it behind the spoke where it's not too short, so it, it's over a yeah. tiny bit. And then take another reaver and make a cross on top of it and just continue weaving as you did before. Oh, okay. So that's how you... Now I got confused, where was the beginning? Here. <laughs> so now I do the step up like this. 
Oh, very yes. easy. Uh, oh, yes. Say we get these patterns home and we've sat there, we've read the instructions, we sort of understand them, we're sort of with you there, but we're, we're, we're sort of, we've got chin trepidation, we're unsure how to begin. Are there any websites or email addresses where we can contact you? Yes, my email address is wonderweaverdesign at gmail.com and wonderweaver.co.uk is my website. You, you can contact me anytime if you have any, any questions or, or suggestions. I'm happy to take any suggestions as well or ideas, whatever. Yeah, I'm happy. Oh, that's good. So literally you've got the touch. website, you've got an email address on there as well. Um, and then if you're thinking, I would quite like a slightly larger waste basket or I would quite like a little picnic hamper, uh, send them in. I don't know about a picnic camper, I might be pushing me luck with a picnic camper. Uh, but you know what I mean. Send your suggestions in. You can even send them in now and we'll pass them on if you want. Studio to channel.com. What would you like to see uh, being weaved or woved? Uh, it's up to you. Uh, your waste paper basket, though, very, very busy. 728947 is your item number. £44.95. But why pay that? when you can spread the cost on Flex Dravaganza of two interest-free payments of £22 and 48 pence is what we're looking at for your beautiful basket remember you get all the wooden materials that you need and you also get your basket in there you can't go wrong everything that you need so from there though uh, we're also looking at the we were meant to go We've got coasters, we've got this, which is your two coasters uh, that we're talking about there. Uh, 14 pounds and 95 bet smooth. Uh, 142036 is your item number. I've got one person telling me coasters, one person telling me a bead tray. Uh, but we are going to talk about the bead tray because that is very, very busy once again. It is absolutely busy. It's a good size as well. For the sheer fact, if I find things that I've got in there, imagine having that in your kitchen. Two little cups on there uh, as well. It would be absolutely breakfast in bed. How nice would that be on, a, on your own special tray? Especially Father's Day, Mother's Day on its way, Valentine's Day. You could personalise the bottom. Why don't you put a photo of loved ones in there? Varnish over the top and they've got that tray to keep uh, forever. It's, it, it could be their tray. You could have a tray each uh, if you wanted to. There's so many things that you can do when you get your tray to home. Remember, the bottom is started exactly the same way as your paper basket and also the small tray as well. I find they are beautiful, beautiful trays. They would also look stunning with some of your other wicker on the inside. That would look absolutely beautiful. Or maybe you go slightly bigger uh, with your wicker that you've got. So maybe you have two of these and you have two of them there and then you have your little wicker tray there. So you've got it all in the tray and this is going to be your craft room. This is where you're going to put your little papers, your little 8x8s in there. You're going to put your pens in there. Uh, maybe you're going to put your glue gun in here. But you know it all works and it all fits together absolutely beautifully every single time. Uh, your bead tray, you also get the beads included as well inside the kit. Um, and you just obviously just feed them on. But everything is inside your instructions. 989-527 is your item number. £32.95. But we'll spread that cost onto two interest-free flexible payments as well. Uh, now we're talking about the small round basket uh, that we've got here by far uh, the busiest item you are absolutely adoring this at the moment I can see why for 19 pounds and 99 pence you are getting a beautiful uh, little basket uh, that you're getting in there as well um, another question that we've had in with the base obviously your logos on the base can we have the logo on the bottom of course it's, um, it's reversible you, you can use uh, each, each side of it so you can use so it, you so, so if you're going to stamp, maybe you want the clear side to stamp on, so that's the side you're going to see on the inside, and then you have the logo on the base. It's entirely up to you what you want to do and where you want to do it. But for £19.99, I would, I would get a wriggle on if I was you. They're going really quick. 998279 is your item number. £19.99. Right then, Judith, where are we up to? I want to show you how to make the, the arrow weaving. So if you could show... Please, uh, the waste basket in the middle, waste basket, yeah, the decorative uh, part in the middle. Yeah, that's what I'm going to show. This is called a uh, um, pairing um, and pairing arrow. As oh. you can see, it's like an arrow weaving. So um, we know the pairing already bef from before. It's actually what we use um, at the small round basket. So we've got two pieces of... 
<laughs> of weavers, we place them behind two consecutive um, spokes and then we start weaving a pairing, like take the left hand side weaver and bring behind the next spoke. That's, that's very easy to make. So again, take the left hand side weaver and bring it behind the next spoke. And that's how we're gonna do all the way around until we get to the very first spoke where we started. So left hand side, this is twisting. This is the same type of weaving what we used also for the coasters. Okay. But obviously it was, uh, it looked a bit different because, uh, because it was not in a round, but in a cross. So. And once you've soaked it, as you can tell, we're in the studio lights and uh, it's, staying, it's staying moist for a very long time. It's, it's quite workable for a long time, isn't it? Yes, until it dries. And also, when, when you finished, um, it's it's clever to have it on a on a ra radiator, or you can also use um, well, yeah. So it, so so it it uh, dries very quickly. It yeah. doesn't it doesn't like humid weather. Okay. So it's better to dry it as soon as. Dry it on the radiator. So now we are in front of the spoke where we started, as you can see inside. This was the left hand side weaver and now we will take the right hand side so we are doing the same step up as we did with the veiling just with two weavers so we were taking the right hand side bring it in front of one and behind one and again the left hand side in front of one and behind the next one and this will complete the row and now we are ready to reverse this this uh, weaving and to reverse, we only do, um, so we, did, we do it so that we take the left-hand side weaver and instead of bringing on top of the next one, we will do it underneath. So it goes underneath the right-hand side weaver, behind the next spoke and then back. So again, taking the left-hand side weaver, underneath the right-hand side, to the middle and back to front. So as you can see, this is already a narrow. Oh, a narrow so that here. gives you that little in and out, like cross hatch look. Yeah, it mirrors actually. That gives you that that you're looking at there. So we've just done, when you go behind, that's the basket that you're actually seeing. So that is your behind stroke uh, yeah. that you've got there with your weavers. Oh, I love this idea, it's absolutely beautiful. So. That's the way it goes all around again. So just underneath, behind the next spoke and to the front. Again, underneath the next one, behind the spoke and to the front. So once you get the hang of it, you will, you will do it really easily. Do we get more weavers uh, than we actually need? So do we get more of the wicker than we actually are going to use? I wouldn't say. <laughs> oh, so no, you get it's, just it's, enough for the right job. It's quite fashionable, but the producers are normally not in this country. <laughs> oh, okay. So you literally, yeah. you get just enough for the for the jobs in hand, as it were. So you could you couldn't go awry and start doing your own design. Stick to the designs uh, that are in the patterns for you. Uh, they've all been worked out, mathematically worked out, uh, to how to make it best with the waivers that you've got and the wicket that you've got as well. £22, 48 pence across two flexible payments. 728947 is your item number for this. Yeah, here we are. So before, I, I just got again to the, to the initial spot. You can see it, see it here inside. This was the first, yeah, here. This was the first strand that I started with. So now I stop. And I will take again the right, right hand side weaver. So it goes again in front of this pair of spokes. Yeah, in front of the first one. But this time it goes under this weaver into this little hole inside. Oh. Like this. And then to the front behind this pair of spokes. And you will see that this arrow is now completed here. So we've got one more left, 
and we will do the same with this weaver so it goes in front of this one under this weaver here to the inside I pull it through completely and then to the front so this that. will complete the arrows so that is beautiful. It's again the same all around the basket We've had a question in from uh, Margaret from Brighton. She's yeah. asking, um, how do we finish the basket at the end? Is it the same as like you finish the bottom? You sort of just take it back around, take it under? Uh, we normally use the, the spokes to weave, um, weave the border on top. It depends on what sort of border you choose. Um, the easiest oh, is yeah. uh, what we have on the, on the round basket, where we just uh, bend them over and uh, tuck inside the weaving the ends um, otherwise it depends that weaving is uh, is in two steps but it's also in in the in the instructions <laughs> yeah, it's all in the, as I said Margaret it's all in the instructions you haven't got to worry about it everything is there from starting to finishing uh, you can either weave it all the way around or you can fold it over everything is in your instruction booklet for you though do not fear you are never left on your own uh, with these weaving projects they're well worth their weight in gold 22 pounds and 48 pence across two flexible payments is going to get you this beautiful uh, wicker basket is what we're looking at at the moment it's a nice tall wicker basket basket as well. Uh, it's got, I reckon it's got a lot of possibilities. It's got a lot of scope. It really, really has. Because um, I reckon in the summer you could put another little like, like ice bucket on the inside and have it as an outdoor ice bucket. Yes. That would be cute. That's clever. It would be. <laughs> uh, how long have we got left? Uh, we've got about two and a half minutes left. Is there anything else you want to show me? Um, I would show you how to start with the medium basket middle part. Okay. So that's called French, uh, French rending. It's got, you've got short pieces of um, cane for each spokes, each pair of spokes. So these short, like 20, 20 centimeters. And you place them one by one behind one spoke and then just um, bring in front and to the back. And this, this time, um, you would go to the left, so it's, um, is it clockwise? <laughs> so uh, you place the next one to the left. Oh, no, it's clockwise. You go this way. Oh, you go, yeah, it depends which, uh, we go, uh, yeah, it depends which way we look. Oh, yeah, so inserting the, <laughs> the weavers, it's, um, it's clockwise. It's clockwise. But otherwise you weave anti-clockwise. Anti yes, yes, that's right. We're there. So you insert to the left, behind the next pair of spokes, in front of the next one and behind. And you will see it's coming like in an angle. Does it matter if you're left-handed or right-handed? Um, if you are left-handed and it's not, com not comfortable for you to, to weave as, as uh, I weave because I'm right-handed, you can just mirror it. I think, okay. I think many, many left-handed people do, this, uh, do that anyway so as you can see it's coming out nicely so just add some more this is again a pretty easy um, weaving method not very usual with uh, with rattan but with um, um, willow it's very 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 usual because with willow you don't have these long spe long pieces um, as we have with with rattan so sometimes they just use their shorter pieces in branding it's worth doing uh, we've only got a minute left of the show okay. it's absolutely I, I could sit and watch these frowns because see how quick it comes together uh, 29 pounds and 99 pence is what we're looking at for the medium round basket 171063 is your item number uh, is what you're looking at that's your medium round basket it looks absolutely beautiful uh, we've only got 30 seconds left um, most popular has been the uh, weave basket at the moment as well uh, thank you very much Judy it's been thank an you absolute so much as well. pleasure uh, the master weaver she is master weaver um, <laughs> 
well worth it. If you've not tried it before, get to go, have a go at the coasters or even push the boat out and go for the wicker baskets. Don't you go anywhere, start checking out your baskets. I will see you here bright and breezy tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Don't go anywhere. Yes, indeed, the next two hours we are crafting with royal. Oh, my hair needs washing. Now, good afternoon. I hope you are well. Uh, we are in for a treat. I remember when they launched here in the wonderful world of Hachanda, and by Jove, have they gone from strength to strength. We are talking Wonder Weaver. It, literally, you have to sing it. You can't do it, you can't do it any other way. Ah, uh, Judith here, how are you, my love? Thank you, I'm fine. I've not seen you in ages. Yes. It seems, it has been a very long time uh, since we last worked together. And everyone who does this show, presenter-wise now, we're all in a little WhatsApp group. You go, oh my word, I'm, I'm now hooked. The whole of the crew <laughs> are hooked onto weaving because it is one of those things that once you start, it, you just can't put it down. You just keep going and going and going and going. Let's go right the way back for your background. How did you get into weaving? Same way. <laughs> <laughs> you just couldn't put I it down. I just started and I got hooks. And ever since I, I weave all sorts of things. And I, yeah, and all sorts of materials as well. So <laughs> Let's get rid of the scepticism. Uh, I can't even say the word. Let's scepticism with this as well. Um, it comes in different stages. You know? We've got beginners, intermediate and advanced uh, yeah. with this. But in theory, anyone can do this, can't they? That's absolutely right. Anybody, I mean, there are um, beginner techniques and uh, also in these products, I try to mix them. So um, it's, um, it's, it's fun for beginners and intermediates as well. Um, yeah. <laughs> it is really. And everything comes in the kits. And if my memory serves me correctly, the only thing you need is water and a pair of nail scissors. Exactly. Yes, I was right. <laughs> uh, and nail scissors, because they're sharp and they've got that little point on so you can get in there. Uh, it has to be nail scissors. We are already busy and I can see why. Right, and let's kick straight off. Brand new today. This is the Wonder Weaver uh, design. <laughs> you can use that on Facebook or wherever you want. Just take that little clip. Uh, just record that. Uh, this is the Wonder Weaver design medium round basket uh, that we've got here. Uh, this is the basket that you will be creating. A beautiful basket at that. A uh, good sturdy basket as well. Because when you think weaving, you think, oh, it's going to be flimsy. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be limp. It's not. It's absolutely beautiful. This is going to be one that you can put next to keys to throw your keys in, uh, next to the door to throw your keys in. Uh, you can use it for at the centre of the table for like pot puree and things like that, and a fruit bowl if you wanted to. Um, is it easy to make though? It is pretty easy to make. There is uh, at least two techniques which is new in this kit, so um, it's also suitable for intermediates. But the the, um, the instructions are quite clear, I think. I really hope. Um, so it's it's also suitable for beginners as well. It's um, it's got a different type of cane. Yeah, oh, that's the different one. Different canes in this here now. This is a tiny normal. bit different. It has a deep profile. It's pretty flat. <gasps> oh, and this... this is what makes the middle part of it. Oh, I like this cane. Yeah. This is the cane where you sit on your nan's sofa outside in the garden. This is the one you pick at. Uh, well, I do anyway. You know, the one it's all woven through and you end up picking one, it all spirals out and you have to quickly put it back in. Uh, or bend it till you break it off. Uh, this is the sort of stuff you use. But, it, at the moment it looks, and it is, it's quite brittle, isn't it? So, Because uh, obviously you need to water it down and you need to give it that conditioning uh, that you get in there so it's malleable to work with. You get everything in the kit as well, so you also get uh, your, your, the round bit, as it were, uh, that creates the bottom uh, mm -hmm. you've got there. Then you've got your weaves in the top. And it also comes beautifully presented in these beautiful drawstring bags. They are absolutely stunning. They really are. It's a nice little giftable as well, I feel. Uh, £29.99, but... 
Hold your horses, hold your horses. Uh, remember, we've got flex extravaganza. I know, Brenda. Flex extravaganza, which now means you can split the cost into these onto two interest free, flexible payments, is what you are looking at for this as well. So, $29.99 will now go down to two flexible payments of just under £15. Just under.